Keeping alcohol has many forms by which he catches men. He is a beast of many horns and ever thus has been. For there's rum and gin and beer and wine and, and brandy, brandy of logwood hue. And hawk and pot and flip combined to make a man look blue. He says be merry for his good sherry and Tom and Jerry. Champagne in Paris and, and spirits of every hue. Oh, are not these a fiendish crew as ever a mortal knew? Oh, howdy, howdy, howdy folks. We're here at Indiana's Next Top Model. Season model. two. Like Season that. two. Nice. I like that. <laughs> cool. Season is, two. This Hi, is Hi, Cowboy. Howdy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I'm here. So, so, Jordan, how is this? Uh, this, is a, this is a big step up, uh, a little bit bigger from the, uh, from the last year one? Yeah, last year was at the A.J. Foyt Wine Vault, which was, don't get me wrong, a very cool place with the race cars and whatnot in there. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun there. Yeah. It was a very laid-back event. We yeah. got to meet uh, James Hinchcliffe. He got on the show with us. Nice. Uh, then we were we in met like actually the Nicky Reed there. Yeah, then we got into the outer room, and then you went to the next room. It was all brewers, and then you went into this little tiny room where they did the runway. Uh. So th I'm looking forward to seeing the runway this year in a much bigger, I expanded version of what it was last year. So, so was the last event like this expansive, though? I mean, all these, because we've got this main room Actually, we're in. We last got year, I think there's more breweries. I think there was more breweries last year, but it wasn't as spread out or as large no. as it is this year. Because we, we've even got the downstairs bar. Uh, the yeah, Quaffons I mean, uh, sponsoring. We got a whole uh, room over here. We got another room, seven or eight brewers over in the same room as the uh, event, I believe, too. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of things going on here this this time, but uh, I, I just think last year was a had more breweries. Yeah. Uh, but it was in a much smaller yeah, arena. And we will. had three food trucks outside last year. They were uh, all pretty damn yeah. good because we hit those up a couple yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. I heard something about food here too. Eventually, I hope. <laughs> Pizza. If, if not, I got jerky. But <laughs> Bavarian. <laughs> oh, I got some popcorn too. Yeah, yeah, as Amy would say, Bavarian. <laughs> 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 so uh, stay with us. I mean, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's about time for another beer, though. Yes, I, I agree. We fun. finally got our glasses. I'm Jeez, excited, Brennan. We had a shot. Of, we had a shot of uh, gin earlier. Yeah, yeah. Brennan's yeah, all like from, on uh, edge. It's uh, a hard truth. Wait, Sterling. you got the gin. You got. Uh, yeah. alcohol, but we only got a beer. See what happens well, if you uh, come join us. When we party, I'm not taking Amy down to the whiskey or to the liquor room again. <laughs> Wait, that had, that sounded horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, I did not take your wife to the liquor room. <laughs> it's, it's all good, man. What happens in the VIP basement? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. It, it is. it is a very it is a very steep stairway for where all the whiskey's at, which is probably better than having it having the whiskey bar at the top of the stairs. Yeah, it just <laughs> makes you not want to come back up. <laughs> exactly. Once once you're down there, you're not coming back yeah, up. Yeah, it's all right. Stay tuned. Be back with uh, some breweries and uh, some more beer. Sounds good. Sweet. This is Jerry with uh, Beer Brewery. You're listening to that great show, The Blind Pig Confessions. We're here back <laughs> in Indiana's <laughs> Next Top Model, boys. Where are we at? <laughs> Season two. All right, come on. We're going to have our first guest out. We're already the getting deuce. shitty. Well, you Patrick know. already forgot where we were. What's going on here? Yeah, I mean, you know. You know. You know what's I great about this is we got our first guest on, but we've already like interviewed him for the last ten minutes, and so now they're <laughs> yeah. like, "Hey, we should do this on the mic." <laughs> it's just how professional we are at the Blind Pigs. The beautiful thing is, I'm not even drunk yet. <laughs> yeah, that's Neither kind of are a we. shame. Yeah, Me we'll do an encore in about two hours. Oh, there we go. Yes. So <laughs> we actually have Round Town on. How you guys doing? We're doing Never well. Never better. Never better. All Never right. Better. I like your style. <laughs> so who do we have from Round Town? I'm Max Shank. Well, howdy, ma'am. Well, hello. We got Max is the uh, is the big boss. She's the CEO. She's the uh, the mastermind oh, behind Lordy, the whole Lordy. thing. Um, we wouldn't exist without Max. There you go. And then it's there's just chill. little old me. I'm I'm Eric Fear. I uh, I you know run the sales and marketing side and do uh, do what I do. Awesome. Well, I tell nice. you, we we've been dying to get into Round Town uh, even before you guys opened. We I think right before it might have been a couple weeks before you opened. Jordan and I we yeah. did a show at Chili Water. <laughs> And they couldn't stop talking, but said, man, you got to get down there. Skip the ball down there, talk yeah, to you guys said, up like guys crazy. Guys. Couldn't go on. They yeah. went on it's, about you guys' beers. It's, so. it's good to have friends. We got them on yeah. payroll. Yeah, Skip's amazing. Yeah, that's Shane's what we do. awesome. Shane yeah. Brown's been talking to you guys up quite a bit. Yep. Uh, oh, Shaner. <laughs> he's a good dude, right? <laughs> he, he'll be right. here tonight, actually. Since, uh, Will he say, really? Since this won't no, air until about, after yeah. the show, Shane Brown may be a secret weapon in our performance. Oh, no. Keep him on. No joke. Keep them uh -oh. I, I don't say anything. I say our performance, but I have nothing to do with it. I'm pouring yeah. beer while the ladies <laughs> while the ladies dazzle. So Ooh. are the ladies are the ones walking? Dancers. Shane's gonna steal the show. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Shane's a good dude. He's a good dude. Yes. Well, Eric, you actually were around even we didn't even know. Eric was on our show. We didn't even know it. 
<laughs> well, he was on Pies and Pines. Correct? Apparently, I was too yeah. vulgar, and it uh, hasn't aired yet. <laughs> well, you know, we got we, we had to put a lot of beeps and bleeps and and flip <laughs> flip some words back. At, you know, apparently back nobody's ever heard our show before. I <laughs> know yeah, you can curse on. <laughs> <mind>. <laughs> I can promise you, nobody gives a fuck that, on the show. That's, that's why. For you. That's why you can only imagine how vulgar I was. Yeah? that you haven't aired that. <laughs> <way>. Oh shit. <laughs> No, uh, that was uh, we we were at Pies and Pints the first year, and then uh-huh. oh, yeah. we got a chance to go down and record at Sun Records in Memphis. We couldn't pass that up, no. but we didn't want to miss Pies and Pints. So the four of us went down. Hunter stayed behind because he had some family stuff anyway, and then he picked up a, a good buddy of ours, Roberto, in the pig pen, and they went down and did that show. So Riley was there too, right? And Riley yeah, was there Riley. as well. Yeah. yeah. So nice. well, I heard it was a great show. They did really well. They were <laughs> amazing people. You should have them do it again. Excellent. Excellent. Wait, oh, what are you oh. trying to? Oh, wait oh. a minute. Apparently he's done talking to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Was that a little bit of a jab at us? I think. I uh, actually, I, I'm impressed with the professional quality of the the, uh, the equipment here because there you. it was a little different. And I, I yeah. was, I was a little more drunk, and I maybe talked with my hands and ripped the whole like <laughs> ripped the cord and just screwed everything up. It took him like ten minutes to fix everything, and I just sat Perfect. there. Perfect. Yeah, I, had, I did that head. once with a. Uh, we're doing a, uh, a hookah, and my brother said, "Okay, it's your turn." I actually, I grabbed the thing and, and you were, you I were. grabbed <laughs> and the whole hookah went flying off oh, the table. I, I, I was gonna say, when did so we podcast from a hookah bar? It was kind of like that, <laughs> <laughs> but different. The problem there might have been we took both of the guys that normally do the tech stuff here to Memphis. Well, no, they they got it. I, I had to build. I also had to build a. I had to build a mini rig. Yeah. You know, this is our, we took the main rig down with us, so I had to build a mini rig. So I can attest to the fact that it was very durable. <laughs> yeah, well, good. It's good. Yeah. Well, I don't Pat know. Pat does his job well. I don't know. I haven't had to try. I haven't tried to hook it back up yet and see what's. See, Pat, working. it was it was field tested. It's all good. It's good it to is. go. It's, yeah. yeah, it's drop tested and everything. <laughs> rig will travel. All right, so I've derailed us enough. Oh no, that's, that's okay. all right. So that's where we do go. You, do you fuckers want to talk about beer? Or beer. Yeah. What do you do? Now I, I'm going to say right now. I I went. Oh, well, actually, I started with the Blue Dog Porter, and I'm, I'm going back. So I went to lager. I know. I did the nice. same thing. Okay. I, I, but I started dark and I'm going light. Because I saw a porter and I got to do a porter. But this lager is amazing. I really, really nice. love it. It's yeah. very, I'm, uh, you and uh, Chili Water both have some of the best lagers around. This, yeah, this that is feels great. Is awesome. It's this awesome. Is awesome. This is excellent, though. I love uh, it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, um, so I have my whole like creative process when I have to write the descriptions. And I, as we were doing the, the porter, we were the, the, the release party was the day that we, ta- that we kegged it off. And so I hadn't had it, and I refused for a brewery this young. I'm like, I'm not going to write a description for a beer until I've had the beer. So, you know, I normally go back, and I, uh, I pour myself a pint. I go through, and I smell, you know, get, get what I smell, write that down. Then take a sip, you know, assess what I'm tasting, write that down. And then I, and then I try to, you know, I've already got some, like, the creative side working in my head. And then I try to go back to my notes that I just wrote down and, and do it. So I smelled, you know, took, took that porter, went back to my office. Took a smell, wrote down you know five six things, took a sip, set the glass down, and had to walk out and shake Jerry's hand because because honestly like that that English porter is the blue dog. It's it's as mm-hmm. true to style an English porter as I've ever had, um, and I know that you know, it doesn't mean much because it's our beer, but uh, you know I've been in the business for a little while. Um, I, I've studied everything I can study, and I mean that just that's that's a. The market's also backed me up. It's a very critically acclaimed. It's not the fastest seller right. in the world because it's a porter. Right. But there's places that are like very, very critical of beer, and they blast through it and they keep it in their rotation. And they're, you know, it's great. It's fun. It's just awesome to have somebody as talented as you think it, it's as uh, Jerry Sutherland. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Sutherland. I want to get a little plug in there for him. And I mean, it's great to have that. I mean, people. We always talk about how porters and stouts get so. There's so many wide. Sometimes you don't even know what you're drinking because, well, the porter tastes like a stout. And you don't even yeah. know what you're drinking anymore. And some people think a porter should just taste like chocolate milk. Where stout, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's pretty wild of, of what people expect now. People especially don't know the original styles of where it actually Absolutely. came from. And so it's cool. Not that they, I think nobody's wrong. If, if beer tastes good to them, right. that's what's important right. <laughs> right, right, to right. them. But, but it's great to have when you, you know somebody has mixed it the right way how it's a porter and a stout should be. Yeah. And we had both the porter and the stout. And I, yeah. I, I yeah. fell in love with both of them. I thought they were great. That yeah. Irish coffee was really good. I yeah. had it too. Uh, yeah, that's that's been a yeah, lot. Of it's Irish good. coffee, but yet it's it's I'm clean. It's light. Oh man, it's here comes killer. another here comes another plug. So yes, <laughs> perfect. Yes. We're uh, we're super happy to you know with that beer. Um, so Why wouldn't yeah, you we start be, with yeah. Yeah. we start with an Irish red, right? And then we use some local coffee from uh, Limelight. You know, Liz Lachlan. There's the plug. Hi. Uh, she's uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. She used to be the head bit, brewer yeah. at Rock Bottom yep. up north. Yes. Yep. Literally one of the best brewers this this, yep. this state's ever produced. Um, 
And when she got out of the business, she got into to roasting coffee. Which is funny because, I mean, it's the same business, but it's not. Right. Right. It's a, it's a good partner business. Yeah. You know? yeah it's fantastic. It's, it's very parallel. Um, but when Max, Jerry, and I were talking and we came up with that idea, um, Jerry turned to me and just said, you take care of the coffee. I said, well, you know, I'm just going to talk to Liz. Whatever Liz tells me to do, I'm going to do it. And so Liz has, has, has been very good. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Shane Brown. So Stop he's it. a cool kicker, man. You don't even know. Because we're about to get on stage and dance around like crazy wild. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? What's going on, baby? How Dinner? you doing? Hey, you know, love and life and everything. Trying to find a wristband, but they still let me in the VIP. Oh, they, so they let you do it, baby. Hey, man, love and life. How you been, baby? Good, good, good. What are you drinking on? Uh, this is actually Ron Town's uh, Happy Face. How you feel nice. about that? It's fantastic. It's yeah. clean. It's light. It's a. Uh, it's a good beer. Good. Well done. Right. I, I would describe it a little bit better, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you describe oh, it, baby? No. Here's the deal, though. I leave that to fear, because he is the uh, mind and the magic about taste buds and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So you just I, make the I, shirts, right? I make pretty artwork. <laughs> Come into places and make things happen and just be crazy as hell. I like how <laughs> wet you are right now. Hey, you know what? I had to come in the place with a wild ass shirt, so why not come with the hung like a horse? Right? <laughs> right? It's Shane really Brown art. Can. Shane Brown art, baby. Love you guys. Talk to you a bit. Love you, buddy. We'll Have fun. <laughs> Seriously, Center. <laughs> hey, PS girl, where do I get my wristband? <laughs> All right. They let him in as a VIP without a wristband. I don't it doesn't matter. It's Shane Brown. It doesn't yeah. matter. He can do what he wants. Somebody call that one. Who's, who's going to stop him? <laughs> yeah, no. Nobody. I mean, seriously. That dude is the most energetic person I've ever met in my he, life. He looks like he belongs. Does he, that's I him. He's good. I'm not sure. He Does he Does he need backup dancers I on his own? Know. He might be able to do it by himself. Nobody says no to that, man. No, I'm, I'm just, telling you. Now, uh, Max, before I don't want to get too involved because we're going to come to Round Town. Okay. But just yeah. a, a brief history of... Of how Round Town came about, and you know how, of what it took to get here, and where you're at now. I will try to keep it brief. Yeah, um, way to go there, we'll Brandon. So. <laughs> I mean, okay. It's kind so, of long story. what inspired you to start Round Town? We'll just do that because we'll get more in depth when we get into the when you get down to your place. Honestly, Jerry, Jerry Sutherland, right. so, true story. Yeah. So, I I didn't just like wake up and say, hey, maybe I should start a brewery. Let's mm-hmm. let's start looking for a brewer. No, Jerry and I actually worked together at Rock Bottom for oh, six okay. or seven years. Oh, right on. And the whole, I mean, you saw everything happen, you know, right around when right. Sun King started taking oh, off yeah. and get more and more popping up. And I just thought to myself every day I worked with him, like, why hasn't Jerry got his own thing going? So I just, you know, we, we made jokes about it for a long time. Like, well, you got money? Nah, man, you got money? All right. Well, fun, fun to talk about. But then I just kind of approached him one day and said... Let's just see how far we get, you know. I'll see if I can get us some funding and I'll write us a fancy little business plan. I'll do all the horrible, boring permitting and we'll find us a facility. And if we if we hit a roadblock, we can't get past fine. But like, You're every not? brewer's yeah. dream. Do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, looking back on, on a lot of it, sure. He, he had it kind of uh, made of easy, but you won't find another Jerry. Still walking so. around right here, can't find my wristband. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he was he was worth all of the pain of the process. And yeah, so nice. yeah, we're and I, we're just all the three of us. That, well, really, the four of us: Eric, Jerry, and Bob, and I. We've mm-hmm. got a really great dynamic. And I was lucky that they let me buy in. Yeah, well, and <laughs> well. He, he fell from heaven right when we were, you know, getting pretty close to opening. Because I was about to fake it till I make it on the whole sales side. Yeah. <laughs> boy, that wouldn't have worked. You do like, what you got to do, right? I've learned so much working next to him, and yeah, it just everything's kind of come together awesome in a really great way. you're in a great location too i mean down in that area it's such a there's it's nothing a, it's else a beer like loving right, right there it's, yeah it's oh we growing. love our neighborhood yeah and I, that was the hardest part i thought it i mean the whole like the funding the team all of that mm-hmm. was was pretty simple looking back but the facility oh my goodness we looked high and low and really wanted to be downtown and kind of started giving up on that I'm well i mean you're kind of i mean you're cl- you're downtown but you're oh yeah you're right no, on that, the outskirts that right. only happened yeah. once we started i mean i was emailing mayor's offices and Brownsburg and Anderson. <laughs> Where the hell can I get in? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, help us through this. Um, but yeah, right. Actually, how it happened was somebody suggested contacting a business broker to see if maybe something was for sale that wasn't really public yeah. knowledge yet. And he said, no, I don't have anything like that. But my buddy Taki just bought this beautiful event center and he's looking for actually specifically a brewery to go in the perfect in the nice. lower level yeah wow, that's so, kind of crazy yeah it just all fell together yep and yeah just perfect place for us to be love the neighborhood get a good lily crowd yeah, oh yeah oh yeah so of course we're at next hot model tonight but do you guys have some big events 
what beer events are you guys going to be going to this summer? Um, I mean, all of them. All of yeah, them. I mean, the one, the one it's kind of hard, that, though. I mean, there's one, so many events now. You, they're every weekend now. I mean, the one, I mean sometimes, sometimes thing, there's uh, like two stacks. or three a weekend. How do yeah. you do that? You We're know? Doing I'll Andrew's actually be going out to uh, Austin for the, uh, the Honey Beer Council or Conference, Honey Beer Conference in a month. Uh, the National Honey Council invited huh. us, and uh, since I got family out there, they, Max and Jerry were kind That's of perfect. let me go. Take yeah. a vacay, bro. So you need a hand? Yeah. You need a hand? Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, come on out. Come on out. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, so there, that's, that'll be like my fifth and sixth and seventh day off of the year at that point. So, you know, that's how it goes. Good deal. Um, but yeah. I think the, the one big thing that's coming up that we, we just locked down and we're still working on all the details on it um, at the uh, Indiana Craft Beer Conference, we, uh, we worked with a, uh, a keg provider, and we bought some pins, so some small casks. Yeah, uh, right. People get confused. Like, so Firkin is, is actually the unit of size, yeah. right? Uh-huh. So that's yep. like the 10, 10-ish gallon. A pin is a 5-gallon version of the same thing. Okay. Um, so we're going to have our first ever cask, cask beer release. Nice. nice. So it's going to be a cask-conditioned Kiss IPA. Um, oh really? Jerry's yeah. Jerry's got some serious experience doing that at, at Rock Bottom. I mean, he always had a cask conditioned beer on, and he he does it the old. It's just they're way so hard to tap. <laughs> you know, you know the embarrassing thing. I've never tapped one, so yeah? I talked to the guys that are, that are gonna have it. It's gonna let be me a, do it. It's please. gonna be at Hopcat on May 25th, and All I told right. him that I. I so now I've told everybody because you guys are so huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I told him that. I was like, that's like the one thing I've never done in the beer business. And he's like, well, now you got to do this one. And you're going to waste two. You're going to waste two gallons of it on my yeah on my face and <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, we got to yeah. be there. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, May 25th. Uh, we don't Hop usually Cat. do video, but we're going to. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. Please do. Please do. Um, Maybe you have some tips. I don't <laughs> no, no, not to laugh at all. Okay. Hit it hard. <laughs> <It's gonna look laughs> That's all I can tell you. All right, all right. I'm getting like a picture out of Flash Dance or something now <laughs> in my head. <laughs> nice, Eight. nice. Yeah, no, and then we're you know we're gonna be a part of uh, I don't know we're going down to Clarksville for the uh, festival down there. Right. Um, Todd's Todd's been a friend for a long time. He's putting on literally one of the one of the coolest festivals. It raises. Thousands of dollars um, for for charity. I don't know what charity he's he's promoting this year because you know I didn't do my research. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, no, no. Guys. No, that's going to be fun. We, you know, uh, we'll be at Junction and Anderson. Are you rocking Junction? Junction? No, we'll, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll, we'll see you guys there. again. We'll yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruhaha, of course. You guys going up to Valpo Fest this year? Oh, that one we haven't really decided on yeah. yet. That's a drive. That's yeah, a drive. and we're yeah. just so thin. Now, what about wise. Radiothon? We do have a radiothon up at uh, Alley's Ale House. Oh, we're, we'll be there on May 6th. Is that the? It's June 6th. June There's 6th. a radiothon oh. on June 6th. Well, that's but entirely we, different. We, we can get you in. We'll get you okay. the Sorry, information. Are you, doing a, we'll talk. are you doing school that night? <laughs> yeah, the beer Bruce school. Line. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Oh, nice. awesome. That's awesome. Uh, they do a great, great event there for that. Yeah, uh, Darren over at Indian Tunes got his uh, radiothon uh, thing happening all day there. Bands and and. Um, for charity, us too. and all for charity all right, and things okay. like that. So we'll get in all touch right. with you on that. Gentlemen, one. gentlemen, make it happen. Okay, we'll do. We're we still do so that. new that sometimes we don't get the invite. You know? No, that's I mean, okay. Like, well, no, he, well, he actually he's looks to, to build us. That list. He, to build he that uses list. us to get to the breweries. So. Yeah, nice. he does all the music. Nice. So we feel yeah. so used at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. We like it. We love Darren. No, it's great talking to you guys, man. Yeah, I, I love you guys' beer. I really do. I'm not just, uh, you know, saying that. Thank I, you. We've been talking about this since you guys came on, and we, you know, Skip was talking about you guys. And we finally had the beer, and we've had it a few times now. Like, man, the guys really do have great beer. So, uh, now Pies and Pints, they all hunter, and they all set how good your beer was, too. So, yep. we definitely have to get in down there. We nice. will be at Round Town soon, Come so we'll get with you after the nice. show. Thank you. And we we'll can't wait to see. I can't wait to see the runway walk now. Oh, Lord. We gotta be we, well, just because Shane Brown's lit already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we gotta be we gotta be clear. Skip and Dan are making fantastic beer. They are. It's they, not it's just absolutely. That. It's, a, it's a mutual love there. Yeah, oh, they, always. They, we work with them. They work with us. You know. Yeah. We, we go back. Um, there's a lot of good beer being made in this city right now. So there it's is. Just, absolutely. We're, we're yeah, working, we're we're working hard, and, and we hope that we get to be a part of uh, the next the next level. You know, take it to the next the next level. Definitely. We were highly impressed with with Chili Water stuff. We couldn't believe. Yeah. Like, I, I was. I love their, their. I thought their lager was just phenomenal. Oh yeah. Uh, it but is. everything they did, but and they were such good guys. Skip was awesome. They took They're good care of us. We were there and. And uh, yeah, I just I just loved them, and they couldn't talk higher about you guys. So we're glad oh, to nice. finally meet you guys, and can't Thank wait you. to get down to round time. So so they earned the the kickback that, that we're giving them. You got yes. it. So what you're saying? Uh, yes. Maybe. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want them getting big heads, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. Now we awesome. love you guys. Can't Thank wait to guys. see you again. This was a lot of fun. All right, guys. Thank time. you, guys. We'll come out and try some more. Thanks. Cheers. You better right. come Thanks, on guys. next time. Cheers. I, Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What's the best way to make it through a long work week? Take a midweek break and join the fun every Wednesday night at Allie's Ale House and Fishes for Nico's Open Stage. Want to share your talent in front of a live audience? Whether it's breaking in some new material or jamming out to some favorites, Nico's Open Stage is the place to go for it. There's never a cover charge and walk-ins are always welcome. Each week brings a featured artist and drink specials from Jack Daniels. Check out Nico's Open Stage on Facebook for more details. And come join the fun every Wednesday night at Allie's Ale House, home of the boys of Blind Pig Confessions. We well. have a uh, special guest tonight. Spicoli. Spicoli. That's, that's exactly what I thought it was earlier, but then he told me. It's Hopsel. It's Hopsel. Hopsel. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. After I realized, after you said it, I was like, oh, shit, that makes sense. Well, I'm not positive I actually ended up making it to the table you did last not. year. You did not. But I was malt got to. I think you came. No, he did last you did, year. Yeah, you did yeah, come on. Yeah, you were it was, last year. It was way minute. No, it was but late. It was, it was very brief. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you came on, and you're like, all right, guys, I got to go. They, they had me out there hustling. Oh, they did. You know? I mean, you so go strong. belittle people. Yeah. Tell them that their outfits look stupid. But I don't think they, they initially told the people that were coming to dress up what or, like, wear something. Oh, no. Yeah, absolutely not. So I was just the asshole. was like, hey, you look bad. Your, your outfit's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> but you look fantastic. like last year you were running ragged from the start to finish. You never stopped moving. No. You yeah. look like you're able to enjoy yourself a little bit better this year. And at least... At least mingle a little bit more. I mean, at least this year you have a scooter. A little bit. I got the scooter, so I can move around quicker. Maybe that's why. It's easier. <laughs> By the end of the night, my right leg is going to be huge. So that uh, that rice stays on. Yeah. Huh. Well, let's 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 say who's in the, under I this can't, wig I first. Can't, oh, right, that's true. Right, we that's we true. got Mr. Sean Manahan, the man. Sean yeah. Manahan. Sean Manahan, the, the man. The man. <laughs> From Copacetic. So and it's good to you see you again, man. Yeah, yeah, it's good to be back with the pigs. Mm-hmm. This is uh, something we've been talking about ever since uh, Copacetic started up, even beforehand. Mm-hmm. We kind of talked about it. We need to get out to you. You do. You do. Yeah. I don't Monticello, know why we haven't right? got the invite. Monticello. Yeah. Monticello. I was talking with Hunter about it. Well, I mean, that's your first down call. You know, and I, <laughs> <laughs> something came up with the opening. I think the opening was just very fluid, too. Uh, but, yeah, now I'm open. Uh, yeah, you guys got to come out and check it out. <laughs> Beautiful Monticello, Indiana. We need to do it. Uh, I think it's a Proving once Was it again, Monticello or Monticello? Indiana. If there's more than corn in Monticello. Ah. Yes. yes. Do you yes. have any limoncellos in Monticello? You know, I actually do have Hotel Tango's limoncello. Nice. nice. So, I mean, that's one of the coolest things I've, I've seen about you guys. You guys have so many other Indiana breweries, Indiana spirits, whatever. You guys are doing a big thing, and it sounds really, really cool. Yeah, you know, so kind of the story behind that, my parents have had a restaurant in Monticello for four years called The Scoreboard. Yeah. And when they first opened, I said, well, let's, we got to get some beers in there. So we had a little, little cooler of five, six barrels <laughs> yeah. and just rotating craft. And then we started doing beer events and, and hosting some fun things to do with beer, educational things, kind of all leading up to this, trying to really yeah. get to the point where Monticello is ready for a brewery. Um, and now that we have all this space, we're moving the restaurant over. I'm putting in the, the pub and got this big bar. It is extremely important to me to highlight what Indiana can do and you know kind of from a selfish end they're all my friends they're I get a chance to showcase my friends products keep money in their pockets you're but doing also, a hell of a job it's a Chicago touristy area mm-hmm. all I carry is Indiana it's Indiana spirits beer wine I've had nice. 150 or more than 150 different beers on tap in the two months that I've been open holy shit from uh, 43 basically a third of all the Indiana breweries wow excellent so we're not we're not going to dive into copacetic too much here Sure, sure. We're gonna do a show with you. Okay. We, we don't want to. We don't want to downplay that. Sure. You did such a killer job last year. <laughs> I mean, it was fun. You had to come back. Yeah, had to. There okay. was no way you couldn't. Have. Are you walking? Are you I'm, walking the runway? I'm doing the. I'm doing the same thing I did last. I kind of uh, opened uh, the show. I'm not yeah. walking the runway. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm scooting. Scooting. <laughs> and then strutting. 
then uh, yeah, then I got I got some buddies to do the, the, the walking. You can do yeah. like a 360 ollie kick flip off the stage in your in your scooter. I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was an, that was an old man trying to sound trying to uh, taking back old phrases from uh, gleaming the cube and, gleaming and other the stupid cube. skate movies. I no no no. <laughs> Wait a minute, time out. You said other stupid. Gleaming the cube was not a stupid movie. We'll talk about that mm. later. It had Christian Slater in it. <laughs> Again, yeah, it was. Yeah. Not a stupid movie. It was better than Hot to Try. But, uh, oh, <laughs> crap. We went there again. <laughs> we'll talk Hot to Try in a minute. So let's talk about the outfit for a second. I feel like an Axl Rose meets the hippie era kind of feel here. Yeah, like you said, last year I was Malt Got 2 and Derek Brulander. Yep. Yes. Last year I wanted to avoid the costume change, so I'm Hopsel. Nice. And I, just, I was definitely like, going with the, the, hot, uh, yeah. the hippie look. There you go. It took me forever to find a, a wig. I love small town Monticello. <laughs> it's difficult to find a wig. <laughs> <laughs> your most favorite and possessions. Yeah. Amazon wigs, doesn't yeah. doesn't one day deliver to there. <laughs> no, there's no drones in Monticello. <laughs> so yeah, that but between that and shopping at the thrift store for some blouses and <laughs> get the windows, yeah, how'd that go? You should have called me. I do that oh, every week. Here it comes again. It's a Shane Brown, different. we love you. And I love this guy. Oh, Shane Brown. <laughs> Dear God. Such a sad. So we uh Jesus. We, <laughs> that dude is so That's fucking crazy. Hilarious. Your uh, your rice saison we had. We had your uh, cherry smoked wood. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what else do we have from you? Wait, I haven't had any of those yet. Uh-huh. Oh, you should. That, <laughs> <way behind. laughs> that rice saison I thought was just delicious. Seems it's so clean. Oh, it just, seems yeah, so clean. Really seems an it. odd pairing. It's because somebody sits like here it. and guards the equipment. Well, it's it's a, man, it's a man of hand. No, I'm not. I, I didn't get a, you didn't get a big. It wasn't a big rye bite out of it, but it was there. It was just mm-hmm. that hint. But uh, I just thought it was like it was still a beautiful, nice, crisp, uh, everyday summertime saison. Right. It was really. I thought it was really nice. Well, I'm like going it. over there next. Thank I guess. Yeah. That's killer. Yeah, I was gonna bring some. It's just, it's hard to carry them. On your scooter, on a scooter, scooter yeah, 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 it's difficult. You need one of those back. Need you need, you need one of those backpack with things with the two tubes and then uh, with the guns, and you can just be serving all day long. That'd have been way better. I built all of my draft equipment this morning. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shit. Did you really? Oh, what a, so you really prepared today? Nothing. I was extremely prepared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I nothing. like your style. I just reached into the, my parts bucket and said, "All right, what can I do? I can do this." Okay. Well, nice. you even said. So I brought here. Justin kind of said, hey, you want to come to the show tonight? And he's like, oh, maybe. And he's, Justin just kind of said, oh, you're going to the show tonight. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happened, right? World, yeah. Man. Yeah, he said, uh, you know, he wanted me to, to do the kind of intro stuff, still participate. And I, yeah, for sure. And he's like, well, and we want Copacetic to come if that's okay with you. He's, you know, still working on the equipment. I don't know. So we got to talking. And he's like, all right, give me like a week, and then I'll commit one way or the other. Give me to the weekend, and I'll know if I can do this. And then that day, yeah, he put it on Facebook and social media. He's, you know, Copacetic will be there, and he's bringing all his beers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm so. telling you what, it worked out because uh, you, you made a killer product. And, again, just makes us want to get it to you even more. Thanks, yeah. It would be these beers. They were done on my little 10-gallon little pilot system. Um, nice. They did, I did the six batches in the span of about two days. Did three batches a day, a few days in a row. Wow. And didn't have a whole lot of time. You know, it's, I really like the way that cherry wood turned out. I'm, ah, that's a ton too. of This smoke. is the first time I've tasted yeah. a lot of these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now they're carbonated. Yes. It worked <laughs> out. And in a two-week time period. In two weeks. That's killer. In two weeks. That is uh, that's fantastic. Try well, to keep in mind, the porter the porter's a little heavy. I thought that was going to take a little longer. But yeah. Okay. Well, I've been following you around Indy because I followed you from Flat 12 to Copa City because I just love the beer you do. I, I think you're a great brewer. So, I mean, I'm yep. you know, so, uh I'm looking forward to getting copacetic. We all are. I'm getting a little tasty and, uh, for uh, some pickle beer again or something. <laughs> Need some of that pickle? I'll do some weird stuff up there, that's for sure. I, nice. We did a squid squid ink beer when uh, Caputo was around, and he and I worked through that. Wow. And did you really? It was a squid ink goes. Squid ink, really? Goes, really? Wow. So to get the brininess for the goes, we, we used yeah. the squid yeah. ink yeah. and we made it black. Wow. It was extremely yeah. weird. It was okay. Yeah. I'm not going to say it was good. It was extremely it was okay. <laughs> it was extremely <laughs> okay. God, it was a small batch. <laughs> it was unique. <laughs> And people are just like, wow, are you going to do that? Are you going to bring it back? Are you going to do something like that? And I can't believe small town Monticello. I didn't think craft beer was going to be a huge uh-huh. hit. And it's, just, it's just doing well. And people are asking, yeah, you need to do the squid ink beer. We just wow. want to try it. Hey, Very you want to like drink it. three barrels of it? I'll do it if you want to drink three barrels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just you. Take a while. Res- <laughs> you got to swear to me, you're going to drink three barrels of it. It's good to we see you. I'll get you guys some All beers right. or make it back over to the we table. Will. I know we'll I've got back. two more. We'll, we'll get going. But, uh, I will be yeah. back. Good to see you guys. It's been a long time. You bet. Love you. Cheers. Thanks, Sean. Cheers. All right. Bye.
Hi, this is Mel from Alley's Ale House. Come check us out for the best local and craft beer selection in Hamilton County and the most amazing craft food on the north side. We've always got something going on, whether it be poker, euchre, live music, or DJ bingo. You can check us out on Facebook or on our website at bulletpinheads.com. hi <laughs> Wooden Bear, sitting down at the table. Yes, he is. Not he, I mean, Wooden Bear is a whole. I'm not, a, I'm well, not Wooden Bear, I'm not the bear. Ah, yes. It we works a little better. Right so actually, uh, and I I was trying to put a face with a name earlier, and I couldn't figure it out, but you said, Jordan, I've seen you a lot. Jordan's like, where the hell have I seen you at? Great Fermentations. Yep. yep. Yes. Uh, blind Pigs are uh, very familiar with the Great Fermentations, obviously. Yep. I uh, I remember you guys coming in, starting home brewing some. Yep. And, they got uh, us started, you bet. <laughs> yep. Throwing recipes together in the green room as quick as we could. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. Were, were yours the post that they were having like a little party or going away? I think I saw some. Did they post up like some weird photos yeah, you of you a, leaving? Or yeah, I had a party for you. Yeah, there, there was a, uh, a cake that they got there for There you me, go, yeah. yeah. Telling me I wouldn't be missed. <laughs> yep. It was it was really funny because I forgot that you went to Wooden Bear until I seen you and you made the comment. And I was like, holy moly, now I remember. Yep. It's crazy. So how are you liking it? It's good. Um, I had homebrewed for, man... 2017, about seven years. And I yeah. should hope so if you were working at Great <laughs> Fermentations. <laughs> well, it's one of those. Uh, I, I like there's, accounting. There's people who've got, who've gone in there and, you know, just did a little bit. And, you know, they had a lot of good skills and learned a ton about homebrewing. Yeah. Um, it, it's great. They, uh, you know, they, they're they a great place for information. And I oh, learned yeah. a ton. So I love it. I, I actually just picked up a shift last weekend because I was like, well, they need help. And. I want to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to run that system, so, so it's okay. Yeah, um, it's great being at Wooden Bear. It's a good place to be. Uh, it's fun. It's crazy. So which now, R- Wooden Bear just opened up a new location. Which location are you at? Or are you at both? Uh, I'm at our Greenfield location. That's where our Perfect. brewery's at currently. Yeah. We're not going to do any brewing of any kind at our just a tap Geist house. location. Yeah, yeah. so okay. it's tap room and uh, pizza, maybe so. maybe hook up sours over there. We've talked about it. We're you know there's a lot that goes into that. Yeah. And, oh, you know yeah. we got some good pizza yeast going up in the air. Ah, so who knows? Yeah. But uh, that'll be down the road a little bit. Nice. So, uh, actually, as soon as somebody fucks up a batch bag, hey, let's start that sour program <laughs> over in <laughs> Geist. <laughs> No comment. No comment. <laughs> I actually live in New Pal, and I've been trying to talk up these guys. To oh, good lord! For forever. An hour drive, like an hour drive home from from death and taxes, and he's just sitting there yeah. going, "Hey, hey, we, you know, if you turn right here, we get right over to Woodmere. You know, hey, it'd be like thirty <laughs> minutes from yeah, Indy. It's not bad. I go to their locations all the time. Every you week, know what I mean? We know. He does. We need to get to Wooden Bear. He yes. does. Yeah. Come out. You know, we'd love to have you. It'd be a, you know, we, we're open Tuesday through Sunday, and be a good fun place we nice. got we got 17 taps uh and, uh, putting out new things so i, I can funny. honestly say i already know the name is getting around quickly I, I mean you keep hearing about wooden bear so i mean the name is getting respected very quickly and uh, you know i'm seeing it all around the geist area before they I, I, I it's a great spot to put it in because that's where i've been hearing about it most everyone's been drinking wooden bear on the geist location and uh it's it's spreading quickly so you guys got a good product that's what Thanks. that's what, it's, that's what that. important yeah we're we're looking forward to what develops uh you know, there's there's rumors of uh, possibly growler delivery coming up. Holy oh, wow. moly! So delivery. We'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Wow. So I we've uh, we've done a quick little gamut. Uh, Hefeweizen porter. What else did you bring tonight? Uh, we brought our maze runner, which is a uh, yes, yes, your maze runner. Yeah. Yep. Our Hefeweizen, our big pop porter, and our mosaic pale ale. Perfect. Well, let's uh, let's get out to you guys. Yes. Sounds great. We'd love to have you. All right, well, man. Thanks All right. for coming we'll on, there, buddy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate, Thank you. Appreciate it. it. Sounds great. Have Cheers. a great night. Bye. Brother, thank you very much. Well, let's just not tell him we talked <laughs> Well, no, the him. swallowing the mic, that's for my own personal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Never mind. Rude. Sorry, that was All horrible. Right. We're sorry. He, he's that out in public. Now. I'm yeah. in. I'm ready they, they to go. They usually keep me in the garage. Let's do this. So What's going we on, We are lady? back. Hi. And Hi. we have someone special. Someone who was at last year's next hot model actually i was that's, that's where, where we met, met you, you. that's yeah. right that was the that's first where it time. all started i know exactly <laughs> we have <laughs> nikki reed it for a whole year wzpl on with us hi guys how's it going you gave us credit because before nobody would listen to us then we had nikki <laughs> reed on <laughs> <laughs> and the show blew Whatever. up after that and then we made beer and it was was it any good no it no <laughs> <laughs> but we still do it no it was good it yeah was it was good we actually have a beer on tap here tonight. Did you know that? Really? We've come that far. Redemption Aleworks has our Suey Saison, which may be the beer you actually brewed with us in the garage. 
I'm gonna Actually, I think it, it was the beer did she we, brewed did, with did us. Did we yeah. use oranges? Did we cut yeah. up oranges that day? I feel I don't remember. I think it we was did. a long day. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot I of just day. remember being so fascinated by the whole process of it all, and then the bottling and stuff. And I, I you did bottle, yeah. That's I did, right. yeah. yeah. So if you go to Redemption, you get the sweet saison. It says blind pick confessions. You were involved in that brewing process. Done. You I'm gotta like, try one. I made this myself. <laughs> there you go. Redemption had nothing to do with it. Nope. <laughs> Nobody else but me. Amy That's forgot fine. to bring you pudding shots. Those were the best pudding <laughs> shots I have ever had in my entire you life. Forgot to bring them today. Shame oh, on you, man. Amy. So I left that day and like I remember texting people like up oh, pudding shots. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty great. How is the pig, by the way? He's, he's big. Big. And he's angry. He's an, an angry ass. Spider. He's a jackass. He's, <laughs> he's probably going to be bacon before you know it. Oh, yeah. no. A, no, yeah. that's fantastic. I mean, it's good for you yeah. guys. Yeah. I just like, that sucks that the pig went south. <laughs> he, he's a little, ju- he, he, he loves his daddy, and that's about it. <laughs> that's really literally about it. That sucks. He's the only one. Yeah, he's, yeah that's the only one he'll actually let, like, pet him. I had to take care of him for a couple days, and, and he's he trying to jump and snap at me. I'd have to throw Cheerios one way. So he'd go get the Cheerios so I could open the door and then throw Cheerios out the door so he wouldn't eat me. No way. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I got a text from Amy yesterday that said, pig bit me. <gasps> pig going to die. How bad? Uh, not as bad as the first time, which left a welt. Stop it. When she, when she didn't mean Hamilton, no. She meant me. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the worst. Yeah, because when, yeah, when Jordan gets a text that says pig bit me that, that narrows it down to five of us <laughs> yeah well, well your husband's in the blind pigs and your wife says pig bit me i'm like those sons of bitches <laughs> which one was it this time put their mouth guards in it's usually <laughs> cowboy now what have you been up because you're a busy lady yeah you are extremely yeah. busy oh uh, yeah i mean obviously you have the morning uh, yeah. show smiling everybody watches smiling in the morning. everybody Boys listens to watches smiling in the morning. i watch it every day no, but we we can watch it on on uh, Facebook is it live streamed sometimes. or whatever. Uh, sometimes can, we do. Get, we do a lot of video. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, honestly, if I, if I tell you the truth, I've been training for a sprint triathlon. That's yeah, been I've been like, hearing really? about that, and I'm not really happy with it. You're not happy no, with it. Why would you want to sprint? <laughs> what is a sprint triathlon? So it's a mini one. It's for beginners, kind oh, okay. of. So it's a 300 yard swim, a 9.6 mile bike ride, and then a 5k. Oh, good God. I could do, well, I'll accept the, no, I'll accept the swimming, no and, I'll accept the swimming no. and running part. But that's what that's why I picked it, is it's achievable, right? I like just it did eight, too I scary? Just, yes. I just did eight miles yesterday on my bike, man. That's awesome. In fact, no, I got to start somewhere. Yes. And then we had to put the defibrillator on him. Well, granted, but, <laughs> you know. But hey. it's tomorrow, so the timing is real, oh. you know? Oh, she can't, oh, oh shit. She can't drink a lot yeah, today. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to use this as my carbs. Um, and the race... <laughs> It's another good reason it's a good for beginners. It doesn't start until 11, so it, oh, you know I've well got a go. little bit of leeway, and I'm just gonna try my best not to get too schnackered. And so you're carb loading tonight. Yeah. Yes. Beer. Yeah. yeah. And I like tomorrow. Your style. Some She's people do spaghetti, and Nikki does beer. Uh, man, I want to do spaghetti rally. too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do spaghetti too. <laughs> it might actually help. Uh, yeah. I mean, even my trainer was like, you could have a couple beers. Like, where, where are you, where's the swimming happening? Is it in a pool or the lake? Or? In a pool. I'm very okay. lucky. Okay, damn. If it was the lake, it'd be like, okay. and, then, <laughs> and, and just keep swimming. Well, the open but in the pool, they're probably going to notice that. They might notice. <laughs> but, you know, people pee in the pool and the chlorine, you know, clears it up. Maybe it'll clear up a little bit of puke. Uh, yeah. It depends, right. on, the yeah, chunk- it depends on the chunkage. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. there you go. It's Minimal the chunkage. Chunk? Why is, yeah. why is yeah. Nikki Reed leaving a trail? <laughs> <laughs> it's that not shit? the purple hair this time. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm telling you though, I'm, uh, I'm I'm very nervous, and it's gonna be. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh yeah, I just want it done. Yeah. Yeah. The, the oh, running the I'm running sure. part's the worst. Really? Yeah, the running part's the worst. Like he says from experience. I do. I mean, I could. I used to. The He's done so many triathlons. Look at him. No, I, I I've done I've done some five Ks. I've done some uh, some bike um, the things. The last triathlon this was you years did was ago. 1929. <laughs> well, granted, <laughs> he had the bike. I had one of those well, he, bikes. Last with time he did a triathlon, he had the bike with a big wheel. Yeah, on I had the, front. the big wheel, the little wheel on the back. <laughs> and the bathing suits were full body. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the striped. Yeah. So Nikki, we talked about it a little bit before we actually turned the microphones on. But last week we were at um, Death and Taxes, and we met another one of your uh, show partners. Cohorts. Car- Yes, a, yes, he was he there. Is the best. He I'm not talking good about him. Why don't you like what? Carter? No, I love him. I just don't want him to get a big head. I'm telling you, this kid, it's impossible because we are always like, Carter, we love you so much. And then every once in a while, we'll be like, I just. I don't feel like I'm doing anything yeah. right. I'm just, I'm sure I'm just happy. Like, he's one of those, like, squirrely little guys inside. Like, Aww. he's got a lot of feelings. 
He's got a lot <laughs> He's got of feelings. feelings. He, How dare he? he Drink those out. away, kid. He started out as our intern. We had him and another girl who was also very awesome, Allie. But with Carter, we bought a giraffe costume off Amazon, and we were like, you wear the giraffe costume yep. all the time. So, yeah. And so we would make him put it on and go down to the lobby <laughs> to get guests, like just dressed as a giraffe. He was such a good sport about it. And then he graduated college, started working for a clear channel, and we couldn't take it. We stole him back. We were like, we want Carter so nice. bad. So we stole him. <laughs> we got to get him back. But they still, yeah, they, just, they still don't let him get a big head because it's like, yeah, you know, you're doing great. You're doing great. Now go get my laundry. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. Every morning we're like, we love you so much. We need you to go and get uh, popcorn and a bunch of 20 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But but can I we tell you guys what he said when he, well, when yeah. you guys knew who he was? What? I hope it's appropriate. Uh, but he it's was our <laughs> show. Remember really? what show you're okay, on. Okay, good. It's That's appropriate. Right. That's true. He sent our whole show a text, and it was just like, I was at this beer event. Some people knew who I was. I have the biggest boner right now. <laughs> 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 That's how awesome Carter is. <laughs> oh, we scary. had a lot of fun with him. Did he, he tell you it was the time? blind pigs, though? He did. Yeah, he was like, no, they knew who you were. They interviewed you. And I was like, oh, the blind pig. He's like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited. He was that's probably fantastic. riding high on that for days. Well, you can let Carter know. We'd be more than happy to have him and you on the show anytime. You guys can always come brew beer with us, whatever you want to do. You know where he's going. So. Well, and he's the one who truly knows about beer, of all of us on the show. Yeah. He'll come right. in with new beers all the time. He's like, you guys got to try this. And we're like, what? Is it alcohol? Yeah, okay, we'll take it. You know? Yeah, but, yeah well, all right. But he hasn't had Amy's pudding shots yet. We may have to introduce him to that. If you do that, you might have to Uber him home. <laughs> 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 but he would love that. <laughs> Sounds good. So are you excited for the uh, the contest tonight? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm emceeing tonight with Ed Wang. That's crazy, so right? So that's going to be yeah. a lot of fun. I used to work with him back in the day, so I'm super pumped. And, uh, yeah, just ready to get um, – my oh, my parents are coming, by the way, from oh, nice. Michigan. They drove nice. all the way down. They're coming for my race, but I was like, I'm going to bring you to a beer event. Stop they're not, in the up a little not, bit. They're not very conservative, <laughs> well, they're from are they? Michigan, so okay, good. good. All right. My dad is a sailboat captain, and so he uh, he's the master of the tequila shots. He actually taught me how to do tequila shots, yeah. right? <laughs> you know? So they're going to have a blast. But, yeah, so it's going to awesome. be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to tasting as much beer as I'm, you know, my body will allow. To. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> my body will allow. So from spectator last year to MC, that's pretty awesome. It's that's a, amazing. It's a short little step, and I'm not mad about it. No, <laughs> that's, that's, why I, I think it's be. amazing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, and I, I kind of lucked out that the first couple people they asked weren't available, and I'm totally happy to be the last choice or whatever. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm, I am in. I'm you weren't the last choice. You were just the third. I'm interested to see how the routines improve this year, you know, because yeah. Since last year being the first, nobody really, you know, kind of, I guess, really knew what to do, you know, or had, you know, now yeah. it's going to be, it seems it's going to be a little more elaborate. Yeah, and I'm you didn't notice, so. Cowboy tore up the stage last year, and they were like, he's not allowed back on yeah, the stage. They did. So yeah, we asked, we <laughs> the asked. The pigs will not be yeah. there this year because Cowboy yeah. fucked it all up because he did too good of a job. I had to no run good. the, I had to run the sound backstage last year. last year. Really? Yeah, and it was, it smelled like whiskey and sweat socks so bad back there because <laughs> we were in that little tiny... It was small it, back there. It was there. so small, and there were so many people crammed in there, and I was like, couldn't even use the controls back there. <laughs> I was like, wow, this stage is just phenomenal. They, they did such an upgrade this year. It's amazing. It's a great venue. That's Huge. when I found out yeah. it was going to be here. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, amazing. This yeah. is amazing. Absolutely. It's completely different. It's just going to keep growing, and then yeah. you guys are going to start interviewing way more famous people than me. Oh, oh it's going to be like, no. all, the fam- all the Colts players are going to be in here, and I'll be like, I'll be waving from the back like, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, come on hey, guys, can I get Remember on? Remember the pudding shot? <laughs> well, we did have Sean Brown, who's hung like a Colt, so we, we, we're, we're like oh. halfway there. <laughs> Nikki, you know you're allowed on our show anytime. We love having you. Thank you can come you. brew with us, hang out with us anytime. We love having you around us, so anytime. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good to see it. you again. Good to see you yes. too. Thank Looking you. forward to the show tonight. Thank you. Woo-hoo. Cheers. 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 Uh, this is just my prop. <laughs> <laughs> How about we record? Are we? All right. I got a te- we? we are. I, okay. I got a text that said, r- rush on up here. And then I'm like, oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah we're we're going to do a quick segment because no, uh, we're, we're getting ready to do the runway here soon. Well, the, the stars have got to be back there in six minutes. Well, the, exactly. The stars oh, are on the show now. You know? I was going to say, actually, I got to go uh, cover for them as they uh, go strut their stuff. So, yeah. yes. right. Who we got on right now? We got Colin from Taxman and, and the D-Man Jerry from Beer Brewery. What's man? dude? Hey, guys. What's going, guys? So we actually, uh, I don't understand how you're so enough to be here because uh, last weekend was uh, <laughs> good lord enough alcohol to kill a normal person. So. Well, it's horse. called hair of the dog, and yeah, yeah, uh, it goes a long way. I'm still, still hungover hurting. from uh, a week ago, but yeah, Death and Dax's day was a uh, was a blast, and uh, we all, all all mildly recovered, but our livers are uh, are definitely crying at this point. It's called pre- yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta train them, man. Well, and since <laughs> we're talking about tax man, 
last time we were at Beer Brewery, Jerry swore to us that he was going to be at Death and Taxes. And well, John, did that not happen? He no, saw rain not. and he went, oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls, <laughs> you. <laughs> you know we love well, you, Well, we'll see you there next year, Jerry. I'm well, I was, there, I was there last year, but, uh, you know, i got to spread myself thin for everybody. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We, we're, man. I think everybody's a little bit worried about the rain because they were calling oh, for yeah. some rain. Oh, I'll I, tell you what. Yeah, no one was worried about the rain. I, no one. I, <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Yeah, it started out nice and cool in the morning yeah. and then because uh, we, we started drinking early. But it was be- <laughs> it ended up being beautiful. It ended up being hot, nice, sunny yeah, day. I mean, it, it was a great day. It turned out to be a great day, yeah. I heard. Yeah. It was heard. packed. I mean, it was yeah. Not great to mention you guys had way more than enough uh, toilets. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh cowboy. So I did make three calls that day. Like, <laughs> hey, seriously. I mean, how quick? But the problem was there was actually a marathon and Fishers oh, yeah. going on, and yeah. they had taken all the toilets in the entire city off. I just liked how you guys made a comment about, on it on it Facebook. Great. Yeah, it was yeah. fantastic. I mean, you guys played it off good. What did well, they, it, did they forget s- to get the toilets? Uh, no, no, no. Just well, they had so one. the last year. One. <laughs> <laughs> the previous year, we had uh, we actually got uh, about twenty five percent more than the previous year, uh, and yeah. last year was fine. Like more, like there was nothing at all, and then all of a sudden uh, it was awful. Uh, you know, no, it, I, 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 I'm so apologetic. I'll be no, the first no, one to no, say, no, no, I, there's so no need to apologize. Two thousand eighteen, we'll definitely see a lot the more toilets. toilets? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about doubling the toilets and bringing in more food trucks, too. That yeah. was, oh, that that was one awesome. of the other things. So. Yeah, the food trucks good. that were there this year were fantastic. You're going to have people outside the porta pies with the with the, the you know the towels around their arms. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but year, I mean, you guys washing had, their hands for you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys had everything from a CrossFit company there. You had a, a, a cupcake place that... Beer and cupcakes, or yeah, whatever. they actually they do a lot of our desserts at our gastro pub, which is why we wanted to showcase them. Our, nice. our gastro pub's yeah. awesome, and uh, but the desserts there are phenomenal from them. And they uh, the the CrossFit company actually just opened up in Bargersville, and uh, it happens to be one of the founding par- partners of Taxman. Who oh no way! Up, okay, so. cool. and you're starting to see that a lot now too. I mean, you see a lot of breweries doing yoga or uh, you know organized bike rides oh, yeah. and, and things like that it's 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 a weird pairing you know you never usually think but the uh, the fit alcoholic now is is a thing <laughs> you feel a lot better <laughs> when you work off the carbs it's it's true, yeah. Yeah. I just well, Nikki reads Nikki reads carb loading tonight she's got a, 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 a triathlon. triathlon she's doing tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> but you guys also had which is uh, you guys had final gravity there Yep. Yeah, that was Which nice you to guys see. did a uh, a beer kit with them. We did. Yeah, that uh, was really really cool. I got to. I didn't actually do the beer kit. Uh, we do our kind of own thing, but uh, got to try it at Final Gravity. It was fantastic. That's good to hear. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Bill's been a huge supporter of us since uh, uh, since oh gosh, since we were started yeah, originally, oh, yeah. and um, they've been. Uh, They've been on it. They've been making sure that we uh, <laughs> definitely remember him. Uh, but no, yeah. he's. We were very excited to be able to do a kit with them. Uh, and and the yeah, kit? we actually brought them in uh, Circle City, uh, Circle City Zimergy as well in there. Yeah, uh, trying that, to get yeah. a lot of homebrew groups in there. Well, they were doing great. Yeah, everything was great. Invasion so, sales yeah. look so, good. Jerry, are you on the runway tonight? You? Yeah, I got to get going. You're on the runway. I'm one. I'm one of the stars, you know. Well, of course. Oh, yeah. We know that Big you're star. always the star of the show, Jerry. Yeah, I was just asking if you're on the runway because I know you guys are on limited time here. Jerry's on making runway. a banana hammock appearance tonight, or? Oh, how disgusting! <laughs> oh, how? Oh, that's disgusting. rude. Is that really where we? Oh, so is disgusting. that where we draw the line? Yeah, that's yeah. the line. How many shows have you done with us? But Jerry does. Is that have a vertical <laughs> line or a horizontal line? I don't know what it is. <laughs> we do get to mention track beer be out in a few days. Say what? Right. Track, track bear will be out in a few days. On its way. Yeah. So in cans. So that's, that's to, a good thing. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah. I was going to say, by the time first, this is First out. time yeah. for us, 16-ounce yeah. cans. Yes. Yeah. I was nice. A, I, was thirst, I was thirsting for Not a four-pack, six-pack, boys. Yeah, there, you go. there we <laughs> go. I was thirsting Boom. for the Jadada over at the at the Death and Taxes, but there was no Jadada. Nah. <laughs> I forget what we I, I forget what we took down there. So I'm trying to remember too. Uh, it was what it was uh it was good stuff. We were everybody I can't remember what I, I, man. Yeah. Well I think we, we end up having so many I can't remember yeah. what they were after the fact without looking at notes. I had yeah. a DD that day, so let's just say Jordan partook a lot. Yes. <laughs> he had a DD and a rental car. You know what was 
perfect about death and taxes. Now we've been doing this long enough, but we you don't did? have to go around and find people. Everybody did just really? comes to us now. Mm-hmm. You get, you but now caught? we had to feel bad because we had no, to turn no, people no. away trying to sit down, and we had like three brewers deep trying sometimes trying to get on the show. Redemption. Yeah. So now we're one. starting to feel bad that we're like <laughs> you know, we can't get everybody on at once. You know, or <laughs> and even in, in a couple hours, you think at four hours that goes by quick. Oh yeah. When you're trying oh, to get all the brewers yep. out at a yeah. festival like that, you know, before we used to have to go out and beg people to come on. Now a year later, we're you know we we can't even get anybody on. And, and so <laughs> well, so, so you, know. you guys are the uppity uppy guys now. Of course not. No. 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 They got to they got to beg to come on <laughs> to your show, huh? Nope. Well, never. Really if they're lucky. <laughs> well, uh, I, I would have come by uh, for you guys, but I was too much on the on hold at all the porta potty line. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> we understood you were a little busy that day, so yeah, it's, well, it's okay. Redemption kept trying to come on, but at one point, there was more people at the show that kept coming on. Than any other show we've ever done, and people just guess, sat down. like guests that were yeah. there to drink. They just they would come over and they just they stand there and stare. We were like, okay, you can get on the mic. They're like, oh good. And They sit down and it was like we could someone we couldn't get off the microphone. We were like, who Holy are you? Shit. <laughs> I think there was a little <laughs> liquid encouragement there. Yeah. Well, we, 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 hey, we, we, we looked damn professional that day too, man. We had, we had a oh, tent. Oh, you look professional oh, now yeah. too. Look oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That fancy oh, tent. That was money. <laughs> <laughs> thank I you. Thought you guys thank were you. like a real organization. I know. It looked great, wasn't it? It helps when one of them works at Cabela's. You know, you get that that nice discount to get the. Tent, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I got to go. Yeah, Great we, talking. Now, to we know we love Have you a good guys, one. man. All right. Jerry, we Connor, love you, Jerry. Love you guys coming yeah. out. You want my signature now or later? Uh, let's. We're gonna, gonna, you we're gonna get in the banana, banana hammock. hammock. Yeah, <laughs> sign that for us. <laughs> I ain't signing that, man. Cowboy said if you're doing any body paint, though, he wants in on that body painting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, we're you, good. have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? <laughs> I'm gorgeous. Yeah. It's a it's a fun mirror from I guess. Hey, take care, guys. Thanks, Jerry. Love you, buddy. Colin, thank you, sir. Yep, happy Love to you guys, guys man. Cheers. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, I guess we're getting over there to the show starting soon, right? Show starting yep, soon, yeah. Better sounds get going. good. All, All right, right thank you. Time out. I think this is the best time to go get beer. See you, bud. Thank, thank you, man. you very much. It's not because he don't have no headphones on. Brennan's busy over there. He's thinking about sex with some of them brewers that were up on stage. We, we're recording. <laughs> so, Brendan, did you get a Woody from Dan? Absolutely, yes. He's giving us a thumbs up. He really enjoyed that. Oh. <laughs> so, we are. Uh, kinda, I can't hear anything. We're kind of wrapping it up tonight. Uh, wrapping it up. You should do that every night, cowboy. No, we shouldn't. I like the rhythm method. That, okay. No, you know, I can't yeah. argue with that either. So, uh, we're wrapping up the show tonight. Uh, we are uh, ending uh, in this next now. hot model. Yes, and it was it was a great event. Uh, the runway was a lot of fun. I gotta say, you know, they they had dual winners, but I, I'm not gonna not gonna bullshit you. I think Dan All had right. it hands down. Uh, yeah, he had a he had a good performance. Are we will. on? We are. We're recording. <laughs> you're you're turned on there, Brendan. Where you been? We've all been turned on for a few minutes. What what happened to you? Actually, we've all been turned on since Dan took the runway. Dear God, did you see that? That was that was a lot of body paint. I was turned on since the furries. Really? No, everybody has their own fetish pack. Come on, you're disturbing. In which I should. Brendan, what do you think? What happened on the runway tonight? Dude fell off. It was pretty funny. That was, funny. <laughs> that was funny. And, and unfortunately, I stopped filming like seconds before that son of a bitch fell off the stage. I'm pretty oh, sure Amy got you? it all because she did a 44-minute video. Oh, damn. We had a 44-minute Facebook Live? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, check out our Facebook feed, and you can see the live stuff. You can see all the body paint on Dan. Uh, Jerry did great from Beer Absolutely. Brewery. Absolutely. Oh, he did good. He played Jerry it. did great. I was a little upset that he didn't get mouth to mouth from the dudes, but yeah. Other than that, <laughs> Jerry was yeah. Jerry, and, and I thought, I'm sorry, man. Our boy Brian from FDR was oh, awesome. Man, he, oh, he did a good job. He was. He was rocking the crotch. He, he did the the flash down to the crotch. I mean, he, he, he had it going on there. They had the sticks shooting out confetti. Yeah, you but know? Jerry, Jerry played a very good half dead old man. <laughs> yeah, he does it every day. So it, wasn't, it wasn't really a stretch for him, though. <laughs> it was great that he brought out a Budweiser, and the Budweiser killed him, though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Who had the, uh, was it Quaff on? Had the guy uh, wearing the keg? No, he, that was, uh, was it Quaff Yeah, Quaff yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, he, he, get down, he got down to do some push-ups. He could, couldn't get back up because the keg was. <laughs> you know, that happens to me every night when I try to work out. I do about three push-ups. I can't get back up. I, I feel his pain. <laughs> yeah, but you're not wearing a kit. Well, 
I am wearing a K. Yeah. It's just it's natural. It's it's all natural. It's, it's a natural. Size. No, it's not natural. You worked at it. It's a couple. I did. It was yeah. a lot of beer to get that keg going yeah. on. It's a couple. It's a couple six packs. No. Exactly. A couple six packs. Well, thanks, Pat. I don't know where you're checking me out at, but hey, baby. <laughs> and check it out more. Put it up on the interwebs and whatnot. The interwebs. I, I miss. I, I I'm a little sad. And, uh, I didn't get to see Cowboy run hit the runway this year. Well, I'm a, I think last year was uh, too much for the runway. It was too Might much sexy. A little too much sexy? A little too much sexy for the runway Holy for Cowboys. Holy moly, we have IOT on the line. <laughs> I, 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 Uh-oh. Oh, did somebody pull out his kit? Yeah, you can use those. Pat, you're talking about pulling out too much tonight, man. You don't uh, always have to pull out. Yeah, yeah I do. You hey. walk the line way too much, Pat. Hey, I got, I got no babies. I'm good. <laughs> that you know of. You know, yeah, we, it's, we, it's, exactly. You got yeah, Indian and Tap on line. Indiana yeah. on top. I can't believe you guys are still recording. Of We're almost done. We're, we got we yeah. to do an outro, man. It's oh, the show has been is? good. So uh, you guys actually joined the show this year. How did how did it go for you? Uh, it went okay. It went okay. It went okay. I mean, I got. Uh, I will say, Brad carried the show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got a little starstruck. Uh, didn't really know what I was doing. It's the first time I've done something live. Ah. But it's all right. So. You know, you got to get the first one out of you and go from there. Live is rough, especially when you don't know the what's going to happen. In yeah. The, you know what yeah. I mean? That's And trying to line up people to come talk to yeah. you is... Yeah. yeah. Oh, we know that. Yeah. 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 yeah, we've gotten much better at the festivals, but even we run into the, you know, trouble with just too many people just dropping on or, you know, yep. a, lot of, a lot of background noise, really trying to just get things organized. Yeah. And I, and I don't know as many people, so the, the co-host, Dustin, knows everybody. Yeah. And, of course, he's not here tonight, so he can't So just it works like, out perfect for you, it's, huh? yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's still rough because you're at a festival and it's like you get no brewers there, and then next thing you know, you got eight of them deep in there, you know, right. or, or you're eight, I thought I was or you're eight deep yeah. in them. <laughs> Everything but the thumbs. <laughs> but uh, what do you think of the festival? It's it's a great event. I mean, well, this was a great is. night, and Indiana uh, Tap has done a great job with this. Uh, as you know, last year was awesome. This year, obviously, a completely different atmosphere and in, in, in how you line up. But Egyptian was awesome, and this is really cool. Uh, so I mean, it's a it's a blast. I didn't go to last year's festival. Or fashion show? Me either. And so uh, this was my first year, and I loved it. Like, yeah, I, I thought the whole fashion show part of it was hilarious. That was great. Uh, they did a really good job, especially I liked beer. I, I, I thought it was more. Jerry. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, I thought it was more like, bre- like brewery. The whole like they would vote on the whole brewery, right? Right. And that makes more sense compared, like, with them doing gimmicks the entire yeah, time. Exactly. Uh, That's what we were talking about. We were talking about a little of that too, and it's a learning experience. It's only the yeah. second year, but I really think they should stick with voting for the whole brewery because they are doing skits. I disagree. What? Well, it, and if they don't, then then but, everybody should do something different instead right. of a skit. But yeah, but you know. I mean, it was really hard to top what Redemption did this year. Well, of course. It's I, I think there were more skits this year than last year. But last year was more of uh, walking down the runway. Day. I mean, oh, yeah. I think that, more people. Yeah. There was a couple of skits last year. More people got into the skit thing this year. Oh, yeah. And then I was backstage last year. I didn't get to see the runway. You have to talk to Amy or uh, yeah. Cowboy. Oh, or you, Cow- you guys Wait, saw the. Cowboy you guys didn't see shit until. It was oh, that's right. You're backstage with me. So yeah. Brendan or Amy, you guys saw the runway, not me. So Cowboy was just drunk the entire time, much like this year. Well, yeah, that's what happens. I will say, I think the the people on the runway last year had a lot more to drink before they got on the runway. Oh, oh yeah. this year there was that. Big I think they're more passed around last year. Yeah, there's some Evan Williams going on in the backstage, but I think they're more prepared this year. Last year was just like everybody was kind of you know a lot. Well, you always have you know uh, Sean uh, Copacetic. Copacetic, Manahan. You know he's always going to be on spot, but some of the guys the first year round. Probably nervous, and so they had to drink a little more. So there's a lot more drunk people on the runway last year, but it made for an interesting runway. But it's again, it's a lot of fun this year too. Well, and last year they let more than just brewers on. Like they yeah. let Justin was on from the Blind Pigs. Yeah, Cowboy, sorry, was on from the Blind Pigs. Yeah, geez. And they, uh, Chris from, um, oh, help me out here. I don't know. I don't know Chris. Chris from Chris Farley. He's, no, he's dead. from the. Bottoms up, thank you, Amy. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. well, he, up. He, he had, had, a, he had his own golf cart. Right, right, right. He had yeah. his own runway show, so they let a few other people on besides Brewers. I think that added a little bit of a different element to the to the runway last yeah, year. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know who Chris is from Bottoms Up. I work at Bottoms Up. I don't know who Chris is. I, did, I, I didn't know what he was talking about either. Is the owner? Are, are you, <laughs> That's I guess Josh, right? Josh. Yeah, the, the owner? Yeah. I, Josh, Jordan keeps Chris. saying Chris all night, okay. and I was like, I don't think that's right. Okay, My that, wife yeah. told me his name was Chris. You're, you're Chris. No, Josh, uh, he's the one who dates Nikki. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Okay, now I feel like a dick because I called him Chris earlier. Jor- Jordan's been saying Chris all night, and I was like, I don't think that's right, but he wins. He knows. All right, we can, all right. Edit. We, we can edit. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll drop in a bunch of, we'll overdub Josh. Did you have a, a new beer tonight that you had that knocked you off your feet or anything that stood out to you? Well, uh, all of Copacetic's beers were brand new. And the oh, yeah. cherrywood smoked rye amber was probably Wasn't that the crazy? best. Yeah. It was great. I, I love smoked beers, and yeah, that was I perfect. It was yeah. really good, but I like their rye saison better. Yeah. yeah, that was good. That one, that one in uh, the chamomile smash. I Metazoa. just had that. I had that one earlier. They, that was odd. That was surprisingly good. Yeah. Normally, those flowery one, those floral kind of ones, don't, don't do that it for me. Smashes yeah. are getting really it's big pretty in like, good. home brew scene. Uh, scene. So, uh, if you don't know what a smash is, it's pretty much. You throw everything in a pot at one time and see what comes out. Uh, but uh, I think slowly and surely it's coming out on the uh, on the big boy scene. It's kind of neat. Wow. And yeah. who did that? I missed that one. Uh, Metazoa. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. We're oh. right over there, over by the bar. Yeah. Oh, I'll we'll get that, one of those after. That and the Copacetic Saison, they, they taste a little similar. Like, there's a little bit of floral to each. Yeah, but you definitely, the chamomile one, you, you yeah. definitely get that one. You can't, you can't miss that. Um, yeah, I mean everything was really yeah. good tonight. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. My throat, I'm, I'm losing my voice a little bit because I was screaming for Dan. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, Dan wasn't going to lose this year, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> if you didn't see, <laughs> he it was or, in it to win it. You didn't see it or you don't look. You got to check the the pictures. I'm sure from Indiana on Tap and everything that are going to come out. Dan came out in full body paint. Oh, well, he wore shorts. Thankfully, I was really Quite worried. Thankfully. <laughs> well, whatever. He, yeah, you can. You, I'm thankful he wore agree shorts. Agree to disagree. But he works it too, though. That's a great thing. Oh, it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, he whoever did it, because I mean, they did a perfect redemption logo on yeah. his belly. And, and I then thought that the, was a sticker. Is that no? That was all on? body paint. All right, that was all body paint. Dan's gonna be in the shower for like eight hours tonight when he gets home. Oh yeah, no, he, I don't think he's gonna take it off. He's gonna wear that for like three days. Are you gonna go over and help him get that off? <laughs> no, nah, that's cowboy's job. Yeah, Dan, <laughs> cowboy's Dan's gonna wallow in the mud for a couple of days. He'll be alright. Yeah, get down to that saison blood. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, he can go take a shower in the uh, in the suey saison. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, what's on? What's gonna be? What's on tap for Indiana on tap? What's coming up? Well, we just uh, we just released our latest episode with Evil Check, and then the next episode that we have planned is going to be with Sean Webster, which I know has been on your guys' oh, show yeah. plenty of times. Yep. And uh, we may be going up to Evil Check for Liberation Day and doing oh, really? a show from That's there. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, how do we not get an invite? Wait, are we? Um, don't are tell him that. Just Evil, we just kind of have a flat out. You better Open get dresses up here. Yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> we will check. I love that place. Those guys oh. are awesome. Everybody there is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were they were wonderful to have on the show, and they invited us up. Tonight was kind of our first test run of a live podcast. Right. And so we, I think we're going to go do that and see what happens from there. You know, have, have you been up to the brewery no. yet? Okay. I've Very. not been up north oh, really? to any of those. So okay. Yeah. Well, we may be there. I'm sure I'll be there in Liberation Day, so if you go up there, let me know. Uh, it's an awesome place. Oh my goodness! Awesome food, yeah. but it's very. Uh, it's it's what is it? Uh, what's the feel in there? It's it's a cool brewery, man. I, it's I don't hip, know. man. It's a hip place. It's new, but it's homey feeling. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's got all. It's all different characters in kind of the rooms, and I've still never had a beer like outside there though yet. Just you inside, no. You haven't went outside. To Not the on the patio yet. Yeah. Really? No. Nope. Never been out there because that's you know it was kind of cold. Wait a minute. Last you time. stayed inside. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I went and got that weird sour beer for you, but I had that beer outside. Yeah. No, nope. I didn't go right. out. But it's a great place. Yeah. Love them, guys. Uh, yeah, if you do go up, uh, Fiddler's Hearth, you got to hit up. Oh yeah, definitely. Fiddler's Hearth. Where's that at? South Bend. It's yep. It's just uh, 15 minutes from. Okay. Well, maybe 20 minutes from brew, but yeah, it's in South Bend. But it, it, but they have on uh, some of the best craft beer you're gonna find, and and they always have a great cask on. They do really cool. Well, they they got a lot of stuff growing up in South Bend, anyways. And you got your Indiana Whiskey Company. If yeah. you guys are doing any of that, yeah. um, what was it? Crooked U, Crooked U, their stuff. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, 
Uh, what else is that? There's a couple others all around there. Uh, Bare Hands ain't too far away. Bare Hands is a little bit further, but yeah, Bare Hands is doing some it's like a incredible it's, stuff. It's, a, it's an easy drive over. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. we should probably make this happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll put that Let's on the it. calendar. Yeah. Well, Matt, great talking to you, man. Awesome. Glad to see you here. We're, we're, we love this. We, great event, man. We, yeah. we have a blast. It really here, is. So. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me join here. Yeah, man. Yeah. Good luck, good luck with the we, new show. Thank we you. hope things work out for you. Yeah. yeah. We need to do some crossover stuff. We'll, Definitely. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. I like it. I like it. I like it right. a lot. We will kill the competition. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you at the after party, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Thanks. Roll on, too. All right, guys, thanks for showing up and listening to this fantastic show of Indiana's Next Top Model. We had a blast. I hope you all did, too. I think it's just going to get bigger and better. Oh, I yeah. I mean, th- I mean, l- this year far exceeds last year, so uh, it-, it can only go better from here. It's who's I last just, year? I just saw a mullet. Yeah. It was wonderful. There was yeah. sil- silver pants. Tight pants guy just walked by, Brendan. Did you get a Woody again? No, I got a Woody because I saw a mullet. Wow. Oh. Mm-hmm. It was a female he's, mullet. It was he's, awesome. It was blurry. Oh, those are even better. Yeah. yeah. That, that's even more rare. He's yeah. very hair jealous. It's incredible. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. got sidetracked. Another success. Yeah. Great night. Well, yeah. fun. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Everybody around all the breweries. Uh, Wooden Bear. Copacetic. Who the hell else did we Round have Town. here? Roundtown. Roundtown. Redemption. Metazoa. Brewlink. FDR. FDR. Jerry. Uh, Grand, yeah, um, and Metazoa, and who else? I, I missed one over here somewhere. Uh, Tow Yard. Uh, Tow Yard. Yeah, Tow Yard right next to us. No, of course, no, no. Indiana on tap. But, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Well, guys, let's, let's wrap uh, it up, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next uh, at the next Next Top Model. Yeah, well, I'll see you guys next week. All right, all that, too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. He catches man. He is a beast of many horns, and ever thus has been. For there's rum, and gin, and beer, and wine, and brandy of log with you. And talk, and put, and flip, combined to make a man look blue. He says be merry, for his good sherry, and Tom and Jerry, champagne in Paris, and, and spirits of every hue. Oh, are not these a fiendish crew, as ever a mortal knew? Oh, are not these a fiendish crew? As ever a mortal knew, keying alcohol is very sly, a liar from the first. He'll make you drink until you're dry, then drink because you thirst. For oh, there's rum, and gin, and beer, and wine, and, and brandy of log with you, and hot, and port, and flip combined to make a man look blue. He says be merry, for his good sherry, and Tom and Jerry, champagne and perry, and, and spirits of every who. Oh, are not these a fiendish crew, as ever a mortal knew? Oh, are not these a fiendish crew? As ever a mortal knew, King Alcohol has had his day, his kingdom's crumbling fast. His votaries are heard to say, our tumbling days are past. For there's no rum, no gin, nor beer, no wine, no brandy of any hue. No hawk, no pot, no flip combined to make a man get blue. And now they're merry without the sherry or Tom and Jerry, champagne and Perry, or spirits of every hue. And now they are a temperate crew, as ever a mortal knew. And now they are a temperate crew, and have given the devil his due.